Just in case you were wondering, I thought I would explain why I took the upper frame member off. It's something I've been planning since I first got the bike. Um, what I first noticed was that uh, there were some pieces that were loose. So here, for example, we have an aftermarket breather cap that was just sat there. And also uh, the rocker feed bolt here was missing. Um, and the upper frame member is so tightly compacted onto the top of the engine that it was necessary to remove that in order to take, test this and this. Plus everything else, I wanted to just check. Um, you may also remember that I think it was these, yeah, it was this uh, bolt here um, where we had the shouldered nuts facing out, outwards. And so that needed to be rectified. And then just a general inspection overall. Um, for example, last night I just polished up this head steady and I know these are supposed to be black painted black but uh, they look really nice actually in, in chrome so um, and no plans to change these at all at the moment so just generally cleaning up all the hardware polishing that up um, I might just check all the torque settings as well on the cylinder heads but I'm not planning on removing the cylinder heads and then I'm going to be taking the carburetors off at some point and I'll give those a blast in the ultrasonic cleaner so just simple jobs going through the uh, the oil pipe system making sure that everything seems appropriate no kinks or damage and um, so I might take this whole this whole system off certainly here because I need to get this bolt through that sort of banjo fitting here that's the plan anyway for the top end So as suspected, in addition to just the fixing bolt here um, that went through this banjo, the bolt that actually feeds the oil to the rockers is also missing as well. So you see there's one here um, and also a gasket here at the bottom that, uh, that the banjo goes up against. That was also missing and that was what I suspected when I first saw the bike and saw that this was a little loose here. The bolt wasn't actually through the head and I wondered if this was missing because uh, I actually found one in the spare parts box that came with the bike. It looks a little gnarly and it looks like it's been um, quite badly damaged so I had bought one and uh, that's the new one there that I'm going to fit into here. If obviously I'll need a, a gasket, I'll need to check this as well, make sure that the thread's okay, but seems okay, but I'll be ever so gentle with that when I'm refitting it. I think what I might do now that I've encountered this is I might just take the rest of the oil line off. Crikey, mate. Now that's a spanner. That's a, a one inch Whitworth spanner for this to get this cap off. And um, the Vincent, the standard Vincent tool won't work, of course, because um, of the spigot that's coming out here. And so I will uh, hopefully use this spanner to get this off. Uh, of course, what happened with the other unit here, the other cap, is I think what happened, all the plumbing was done, all the oil lines were fitted, and then the, the, a previous owner realised that they needed to do the cap first before they did all the hardware. 
And so that's why it was kind of loosely left on the top. It was just placed in a state of reassembly uh, for the next owner. This one belonged to my father-in-law, Peter, and I brought this back on the plane from a trip to the UK one time. Oh, that was loose. Oh yeah. So that's clanking on the nuts here of the head steady. So uh, I don't know if I can just take maybe the one or two nuts off and then it will come off. I, I doubt it, we'll try. The next job is to take these mounting plates off uh, the top of the cylinder head. Um, because what I need to do is, while this was loose, this breather, the new breather is gonna go back on here. I'm actually gonna take this breather because it's got a spigot on the end of it and put this one here. But in order to put this one here, I need to take this off so that that will go on with all the hardware off and then the hardware comes on afterwards. And then similarly, I'm gonna take this mounting plate off here so that I can actually remove this one. It's um, currently stuck because of the pins here. Uh, and, uh, and along the way, um, just feeling the nuts here, <laughs> uh, I realized that this one was loose as well. So it's gonna be a good exercise just to check and see how tight these are. That's the cylinder head brackets, the mounting brackets removed now. And I, I was just kind of feeling the cylinder head bolts and I realized that these are loose. Certainly on this side anyway, they're loose by hand. These are locked down on this side. So inevitably, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a look and see what it looks like inside this cylinder head. Next job is to remove these push rod tube nuts here. Uh, this one was already loose, um, as was this one as well. So they just drop down there. Um, the goal is to push these push rods, tubes, I should say, down into the cavity of the timing case to release them here from the cylinder head so that that can be lifted off. Um, here it's just sticking on one of the fins. Here on the other side, the nuts are already tightened up. Um, I had a little bit of a challenge getting these nuts up while the engine was assembled in the upper frame member and I, I suspect what was happening is this should have been done before everything was tightened down, so to speak. Plus there's some seals up there as well that I wanna check when I take the push rod tubes out and remove the head. I 
I don't know if you remember seeing as well, but a couple of these push rod tubes were too far down into the cavity, the timing chest. So we'll need to fix that as well. Here, I thought you might just like to see what the push rod tubes look like pushed up into the head. So I think three out of four are good. And there's just one that's a little bit further down than it should be. Also need to check to see what the seals are. This one here, that one's quite a bit further down than it should be. Sorry, it's flashing a little. And then this one here. As you can see, that's fine. And if we look into the timing case, you'll see there, way at the back, you see how that's dropping down too far. Anyway, I'm pulling these down into the timing case, and then at some point we'll just uh, get those refitted appropriately. I'm taking the opportunity to look at these cylinder heads now that they're off the bike. And uh, from the outside, you know, they look really nice, really clean and tidy. And then on the inside, I was aware that um, the previous owner had completed um, a valve job, a comprehensive valve job. So as we look over and on the inside, it looks really good. I mean, the bike hasn't run right and sin since that these uh, well, certainly this looks like a brand new valve. This one here looks like a reclaimed valve. And everything looks good. I'm not seeing any cracks. So I'm feeling a lot happier about the inside and the valve job with this bike. Same here on the inside. The rocker mechanism actually looks brand new on the inside. Here we have the rear cylinder head, or number one, uh, again in great condition on the outside, and then we look on the inside. Lovely, very, very nice and tidy. Again, what looks like a brand new valve there on the inlet side. The exhaust valve looks like, again, it's been reclaimed, re, you know, decarbonized anyway don't see any signs of stress. As you can see the pistons are brand new and they're just beautiful and 40 over which is what we established when we were using the bore scope some time ago. 
So guys, you know what's next, don't you? You know I have to keep going. I've come this far, uh, so the barrels are coming off next. Uh, so much for checking a loose nut, eh? So uh, anyway, no, um, while I'm here, I think this is probably the closest I'm going to get to actually splitting the crankcase. So yeah, the barrels are coming off next so we can look down in the cavity of the crankcase just to see if everything looks to be in order. Honestly, I'm pretty confident that every famous last words, I'm pretty confident that everything's fine um, from here down. But you know, we've come this far and it's just a matter of pulling these barrels off the piston. So let's just keep going. We'll see what lies beneath. And then hopefully that's as far as we go to the center of this Vincent. So uh, anyway, thanks for watching and uh, keep staying, stay tuned and uh, we'll see what develops next. All right, see you guys.